I, I think that it is that um, he's in a hard position as the first <laughs> black president. Um, how much can he talk about race without the backlash? Because the country hasn't dealt with race and hasn't dealt with its own um, issues around race and the fear of having even a discussion about race. So here we have this president who's feeling like, well, you know, maybe if I do this big project, it will really trickle down. Um, wrong. <laughs> you know, it, we learned from it, the affirmative action argument, if you don't right. talk about race, race that's nobody right. understands that's, about that's race. What, that's what they said <laughs> in, in the Baki case, in a dissent. That's right. And you have to, you really have to be conscious about the kinds of remedies that you're going to put in place in order to address it. And this president hasn't been able to do it. And I, and I think that it's, it's also just because the political times don't allow him enough space to do it, and he hasn't felt comfortable. Or yeah. Tavis Smiley saying he's not getting pressure from black groups. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I really can't talk about Tavis Smiley, but um, but but, <laughs> but but what I will say is what what might have been the interesting possibility here would have been to deploy Joe Biden as the race guy. Uh, in other words, I think mm -hmm. that asking the African American president uh, in this moment of trying to make all of these choices that need to be race neutral governing choices to also address race may be may be impossible. I, I don't even see people do that in their ordinary lives, much less as president of the United States. But Joe Biden might have been an interesting um, emblematic moment. He is Catholic and from the kind of Catholic social justice tradition, a tradition that says there are moral imperatives about caring for the poor, about coming together uh, collectively, part of the kind of world church of Catholicism that he might have argued. And he also might have said, look, you know, as vice president, it's my goal not necessarily to be making the policy, but to be thinking about how this policy is uh, impacting people throughout the country. Had you put race in the mouth of the, of the white vice president, if you'd allowed him to be the one bringing it up and talking about it, I think it, would have re it, it might resonate mm. in a very different way. So